In this short tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to work with contacts in Outlook on the web. So we'll start off by creating a new contact, then we'll look at how we can edit and delete our contacts, and then we're going to look at importing and exporting contact lists, and finally, how to create your very own contact list containing multiple contacts. So first of all, how do you create a new contact manually? Well, the first way you can do that is you can locate an email from a specific sender and then simply click on their profile here. So you'll see if you click on this little profile badge or their icon or picture, you then have the option in here to add them to your contacts list. And the way that you do that is by going into contact and you'll see there's an option here to add to contacts. So if I want to add this particular contact to that contact list, all I do is click on add to contacts. From here, you can add lots of additional information about the contact, so it already populates it with the email address and the first name. You can add in things like the messenger contact detail, email, company, all that kind of thing. I'm just going to change the surname here, so it's going to be forename and the surname Todd, and then I simply click on the save button. What will now happen is it message will appear to say we have successfully saved this contact, and now if I go into the people directory here, the contact will be listed in here alongside some of the other contacts I have. So that's the first way that you can create a new contact and that's done so from an email that you have received or from one you may be sending to somebody else. So you're using their profile information. The next way to do it is to go up to new contact and remember we're inside the people directory here. So you go to new contact and then you simply enter the information in here. So I'm going to add Kelly green and then i'm going to say her email address is kelly.green at abctraining.com click save and then you will see it'll take a little second but kelly's contact information will now be added into here which is our contacts list so those are two ways to add your contacts to the list but how do you edit or delete them well first of all you need to make sure you're in the people directory and we're in this all contacts group here and when you see all of the contacts and when you click on them they are highlighted in the uh, color for your theme and you can make changes by simply going to edit at the top here and then you can make changes in here so if Derek's actually called Derek Lees and I've got his email address incorrect I can make those little changes save and then that will update now it will take a little second but it should update just like that in addition to that, you can also select the contact and go to the three dots here below their name and use edit contact, which basically just does the same thing. And whilst I'm here, it's also worth mentioning that you can assign categories to specific people. So if I go to new categories, I might say, I don't know, workmates, and then I can categorize them like this. And then you'll see it comes up with a category in here. This one here might be something like, I don't know, this might be um, just mates and you'll see it gives it a color, and then this one has a category of mates. So if we need to delete a contact, how do we do that? All you need to do is select the contact from the list, and then simply choose delete, and then delete again. And that way you have deleted that contact from your contacts list. If it's more than one, then what you do is you basically just hold the shift key, and you can select from the top all the way down to the bottom, and then you can see I can hold the shift key and keep selecting which then deselects or if it's multiple people you can select one using the checkbox and then maybe a second one and then in this case we can use delete and that allows us to delete those two contacts. So now that we've looked at how to add, edit and delete a contact let's take a little look at how we can manage them by importing and exporting. So if you wanted to pass on a contact list to a colleague or if you wanted to perhaps export and move into another email account the easiest way to do this is to select all contacts on the left hand side and then go up to manage contacts and from here you'll see you have import and export. Now if we choose export it's going to create a CSV file with all of the information that we've added for each contact when we created or saved that contact. So let's choose export contacts and then what we need to do is we need to choose the folder that we're exporting from which is this one here, all contacts. You'll notice I don't have any other folders so we've only got that one to choose let's choose export it's now going to create a csv file and we have something that looks like this so you can see within here we've got all of the different columns along the top 
and then we have the different information that we have put in. So we've got email address, forename and surname in this example. Obviously, if we'd populated them with more information, these would all be filled. So you can then take the CSV file and then you could, if you want to, upload it to another email account. As well as exporting contacts, you can also import them into your email account. So we've just looked at how to export. To import, it's basically just the opposite. So you go to manage contacts, but instead this time you choose import contacts. Now there's some information here about exactly what you can do and what format these names and details need to be in. But what you want to do is you want to go to upload your CSV file, which you've obviously already pre-prepared or exported from elsewhere. And you're going to choose browse and then select that file. Now, if I click open, what's going to happen here is once I click on the import button, that file is going to be imported into my account. So it tells me here two contacts were imported. I'm going to close this down and those two contacts have now been imported. So Steph Bell and Lawrence Black have been added to my contacts. And you'll see when I click on them, we've got the information that was available within that CSV file. The final thing I want to show you in this tutorial is how to create a contact list. Now this is incredibly useful if you have a long list of contacts that you regularly email, rather than having to add them all one by one and maybe forgetting to add somebody to the two field, you can create a contact list and then simply add that contact list to the two field and that will send the email to all of the people on that list. Better yet, you can also pull one or two people out of that particular email if you need to, but they'll still live within the list for future uses. So to do this, what we need to do is go to where it says new contact and I'm not clicking on the top half of the button, we're clicking on the bottom half, new contact. From here, we're going to choose new contact list. You'll then be asked to give the list a name. So I'm going to call this one admin team. And then you'll see where it says add email addresses. You can start to choose the names of the people. So you'll see here if I go for, let's try Dave. And then let's try Lawrence and Kelly. Then we've now, now added these three individuals to this list. You can add as many as you want to from your contacts. But now what I want to do is I'm going to leave the description blank because I don't really need a description at this moment in time. And I'm going to click create. And what will now happen is under all contact lists, we have this new admin team contact list. Now, if I go back to all contacts and realize I've left out John Smith, I can come back into the contact list and then I'm going to click on edit for this selected one across here. And I'm just going to add John. So let's add John in and save. And you'll notice there is the option here to remove anybody from the list permanently. But let's go to save. And we now have this admin team with four users. Now from here, rather than jumping back into our email, then opening a new email, I can actually just simply click on send email just now. That's going to do that for me. And you'll notice it adds admin team in to this two field just now. Now I could then go ahead and compose my email and simply click send. But what happens if I maybe want to bring one of those users out of the list? So on this occasion, I don't want to include John in this email. Well, all I need to do is need to expand the group and then just simply remove John. So now it's only going to be sent to these three people. All we do is click send and that email goes to those three users. So it saves you a little bit of time having to manually type in users' email addresses and actually forgetting some users if you create a contact list and then send your email to the contact list. Rather than doing it the way I've just done it there, we can also go and open up an email. So let's open new email here and then you can search for the group here. So I'm going to do admin and you'll see there's the admin team appears and I can expand that and we've got all four people back in. So that's how you can create and manage contacts within Outlook on the web.